Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this Wednesday, September 9th. I'm so glad you could join me for evening prayer tonight. I invite you to follow along our service in the Book of Common Prayer. Our service begins on page 115. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer available, please click on the link in the description, bcponline.org. It's a great way to follow along on your computer. Or you can simply sit back and let the prayer speak to you this evening, wherever you may be. And now, as we begin our time in worship, let us pause, take a few deep breaths, and recall the presence of Christ in our midst. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 49, which is found on page 652 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples. Hearken, all you who dwell in the world, you of high degree and low, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and my heart shall meditate on understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb, and set forth my riddle upon the heart. Why should I be afraid in evil days? when the wickedness of those at my heels surround me, the wickedness of those who put their trust in their goods and boast of their great riches, who we can never ransom ourselves or deliver to God the price of our life. For the ransom of our life is so great that we should never have enough to pay it in order to live forever and ever and never see the grave. For we see that the wise die also like the dull and stupid they perish, and leave their wealth to those who come after them. Their graves shall be their homes forever, their dwelling places from generation to generation, though they call the lands after their own names. Even though honored, they cannot live forever. They are like the beasts that perish. Such is the way of those who foolishly trust in themselves, and the end of those who delight in their own words. Like a flock of sheep, they are destined to die. Death is their shepherd. They go down straightway to the grave. Their form shall waste away, and the land of the dead shall be their home. But God will ransom my life. He will snatch me from the grasp of death. Do not be envious when some become rich, or when the grandeur of their house increases. For they will carry nothing away at their death, nor will their grandeur follow them. Though they thought highly of themselves while they lived, 
and were praised for their success, they shall join the company of their forebears, who will never see the light again. Those who are honored but have no understanding are like the beasts that perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job again took up his discourse and said, But now they make sport of me, men who are younger than I, whose fathers I would have disdained to set with the dogs of my flock. What could I gain from the strength of their hands, men whose vigor is gone? And now my soul is poured out within me. Days of affliction have taken hold of me. The night racks my bones, and the pain that gnaws me takes no rest. With violence it seizes my garment. It binds me about like the collar of my tunic. God has cast me into the mire, and I have become like dust and ashes. I cry to thee, and thou doesn't answer me. I stand, and you do not heed me. You have turned cruel to me. With the might of your hand, you dost persecute me. You lift me up upon the wind. You make me ride on it, and you toss me about in the roar of the storm. Yea, I know that you will bring me to death into the house appointed for all the living. Yet does not one in a heap of ruin stretch out of hand and in his disaster cry for help? Did I not weep for him whose day was hard? Was my soul not grieved for the poor? But when I looked for good, evil came. And when I waited for light, darkness came. My heart is in turmoil and is never still. Days of affliction come to meet me. I go about blackened, but not by the sun. I stand up in the assembly and cry for help. I am a brother of jackals and a companion of ostrich. My skin turns black and falls from me, and my bones burn with heat. My lyre is turned to mourning, and my pipe to the voice of those who weep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. A certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to Jesus, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness is not unto death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by means of it. Now Jesus loved Martha, and her sister, and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go into Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were but now seeking to stone you. Are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. Thus he spoke, and he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awake him out of sleep. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought he meant taking rest and sleep. 
Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And for your sake I am glad that I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Thomas, called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Stephen, blessed Constance and her companions, and all your saints, and trusting one another in all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, a collect for the feast of Constance and her companions, the martyrs of Memphis. We give you thanks and praise, O God of compassion, for the heroic witness of Constance and her companions, who in a time of plague and pestilence were steadfast in their care for the sick and dying, and not lo loved, and loved not their own lives, excuse me, Inspire in us like love and commitment to those in need, following the example of our Savior Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. A collect for protection. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that has passed, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for mission. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving. And please feel free to leave those prayer requests in the comment section below. And please know that we do see them and we do pray for them individually. 
for parish members and friends who are ill, infirm, or in need, including Judy, Wayne and his family, Bill and Carol, David, Evelyn, Leah, Rob, Ben, Eleanor, Samuel, Matthew, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Pete, Mary and Scott, Loretta, Leonard, Meg, Alexandra, Jenny, Rick, Anne, Kelly, Kelsey, Boyd, Mel, Pat, Fran, Mark, Alan, Jordan, and Noah. For those we name with our lips and our hearts. For the Diocese of Maryland, as we get ready to gather together virtually for our annual convention. For those we name in the comment section. And for those who have asked for our prayers, but we cannot recall at this time. O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Protect those who are compelled to work farms and fields, city streets and factories that put them in danger with very little pay. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them all, Lord Christ, from all danger, and keep them safe in the knowledge that is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our worship concludes this evening with the prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. I invite you to join me tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. for evening prayer right here from St. Stephen's. And just a reminder, we do have space available if you'd like to join us for in-person worship on Sunday morning at 8.30. If you're not quite ready to join us uh, in person, we invite you to join us virtually. You can view that live stream right here on our Facebook page or watch the video of it a little bit later on our YouTube page as well. There are also still spaces available for our Sunday evening service, uh, 6.30 at our outdoor altar. Um, please bring your chair and your face masks and we'd love to see you at that service as well. Please sign up for that. Uh, spaces are limited and they are going very fast, but we hope to see you there. God's peace be with you this evening. Stay safe and stay healthy.